The tiny Huangyan Island in the South China Sea has been at the center of a standoff between the Chinese regime and the Philippines for a month now, and tensions appear to have escalated over the past week. Now there are hints at military action from some Chinese media. The official paper of the People's Liberation Army warned on May 10th that the army will not agree to anyone who snatches the sovereignty of Huangyan Island. State Run Global Times published a stern statement on the same day, saying the Chinese Navy will retaliate if Filipino warships attacked. So where is this dispute headed, and what are the driving factors behind the rhetoric from the Chinese media? Analysts see this diplomatic row as being tightly linked to the current factional infighting of the Communist Party. NTD's senior China analyst Wen Zhao believes Chinese leaders Hu Jintao and Wen Jiabao do not want the distraction of Huangyan Island as they focus on taking down political rival Zhou Yongkang and his faction. In the remainder of their terms in office, who and when need to focus on resolving domestic political problems. In particular, they need to decide how to handle Bo Xilai and Zhou Yongkang before the Bei Dai He meeting in July, August. If there is a military conflict now, it will attract international attention and their minds will be redirected to dealing with that. This scenario would benefit Zhou Yongkang and his political allies because they are currently losing out in the political struggle. One of the key persons behind the military talk is Chinese Defense Minister Liang Guanglie. State-run media reported in mid-April that he told the Navy in Guangzhou and Guangxi provinces to, quote, enhance their capability to respond to emergencies and challenges. Tensions over Huangyan Island had already started to brew at that time. NTD China analyst Zhao Pei says Liang Guanglie is from the faction of Zhou Yongkang and Bo Xilai, and that's why he's advocating a military action. Last year, Liang attended the military exercise Bo Xilai organized in Chongqing, while Chinese leader Hu Jintao was out of the country, who saw this exercise as a gross encroachment on its power. Liang Guanglie wants war now, so he can increase his hold of military power. This can be used to squeeze out Hu Jintao. But it appears that the U.S. and Hu Jintao have some sort of understanding, and neither Washington nor Beijing have made a hard stance on this issue. China state-run Xinhua News Agency reported on Friday that Philippines Foreign Ministry has resumed diplomatic contact with the Chinese Embassy in Manila, and the pair are working towards easing tensions over Huangyan Island.